it's the uh, launch day. It's a little windy out here today. It's a beautiful day. Uh, it's a little windy. It's got me concerned. My, my launch intuition is uh, tingling a bit. I grew up here in Florida. I came to this very spot out here in the Causeway as a kid. My dad would take us to launches all the time. So personally, oh, it's like I, the kid in me comes out when I come here. <laughs> it's really cool. I've been on both sides of it. I've been a researcher and then I've been a now helping researchers. And I got to say, it's, it's nervous on both sides. You have a lot of worry, I guess, as a scientist, you, you have a lot of work involved. As a payload provider, you, you hope you've checked all the boxes and you've done all that you can do to make everything work for the researchers so that they get good data. It's, it's not easy to put it, even the most simplest payloads uh, in, on the space station, but it's worth it. It's worth all the work. I think some of the biggest discoveries we have, uh, we've made and are going to find are up on the space station. It's incredibly important. Well, we've been really nervous all the way up until right this moment. Nervous that our, our dreams aren't actually going to happen. <laughs> but now that the um, you know, larger countdown is happening and the rocket's all fueled up and everything looks like it's going to happen on time, it's, it's getting really exciting. The last you know, 15 minute window before it takes off. You know, thanks to Cases for funding this, thanks to NanoRacks for helping us coordinate and making the hardware and coordinating all the data collection too. And thank you for the astronauts who are going to be working on this project on station. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of people worked on this. It's not just the two of us. It's, it's been a lot of people. So uh, we really appreciate all their support. Yeah. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And lift off. As Falcon 9 and Cargo Dragon take flight, bound for the International Space Station with fresh supplies and research, helping to maintain our human presence in space as the station celebrates its 20th anniversary. Yeah. It'd be incredible just to watch it no matter what, but knowing that how, we have a personal yeah. investment in it, it makes it a it makes a big difference. Yeah, so it's just knowing that something that we've been working on is on it and and then watching the whole like the whole experience makes it just different. It's it it really I can't find the right words to, to explain it, really. Definitely feel like the work leading up to it was worthwhile. Yeah, absolutely. And watching it with your best friend. Yeah. And like someone that you've been working with for such a long time and it's just oh it's yeah I think it couldn't get better that's what I can say yeah um, yeah I didn't want to do it with anyone else <laughs> yeah <laughs> that is the exact same sentiment that I yeah. have so it was really it was really special that we could both be here yeah and watch yeah. it together mm -hmm. Our scientist experiment is officially on its way to the International Space Station. The SpaceX Dragon capsule that gives the research its ride to low Earth orbit now must make the last leg of its journey to the hands of the astronauts in microgravity. What's neat for us is we've got cargo vehicles coming and going to the ISS all the time. It is really like a busy parking lot. Vehicles come in, they stay for a few months, we do a whole bunch of science, and then they leave again. And before you know it, the next one's coming up. Now, what's important to remember is that these vehicles cannot dock themselves to the space station. We have to bring them into the space station utilizing robotics. And what I like to tell people is performing robotics, going out and capturing that vehicle is like a really difficult video game. And so we practice over and over and over again using computer simulations on how to actually capture that cargo vehicle to bring it into station. Once that cargo vehicle docks to station, we do a series of pressure checks and equalize that pressure with the International Space Station, and finally we get to open the hatch. Very quickly, the crew starts to move because we've got some experiments that are actually kept at certain temperatures, and we have to transfer them quickly out and keep them at the same temperature there on board the space station. Elaine and Peristu's research is one of the experiments that requires quick unloading. Stored at a constant temperature to ensure the hydrogels stay intact, it's one of the first items that astronauts must remove from Dragon. 
Then, with the experiment finally aboard the space station, it's time to conduct science in microgravity. This was fantastic for me. This is what I do. This means a lot to me as a clinician. And so it was really neat to be able to perform that sort of science on station. So station 1002 is loaded.